These workshops are important because the idea of it is to make sure that we're building confidence uh, among women or individuals who may not know exactly how to react at a time of a compromising situation uh, and uh, also to become better aware of what's going on and how to protect themselves. You don't have to become a martial artist to know how to do simple techniques to defend yourself. The techniques that we use, again, are meant to be highly effective and to access areas of the body that have a lot of nerve endings. We go over eye, nose, groin, knees, and toes. We use something like a hammer fist. We use things like stomping and everyday kinds of, of techniques. Even just you know being able to, if you can do something like this, that's a, that can be used as an effective uh, defense against an assault. Uh, so we use those kinds of techniques and some that people have probably seen before like a front kick or a side kick. Take two hours of your time, um, even if you just did it twice a year, four hours in an entire year is not that much time and could really save your life. Get in the door. What have you got to lose? <laughs> there were people here today uh, that were elderly women sitting in chairs um, you know, who couldn't stand the entire time but stood as much as they could. Do what you can. Find information that you can use to defend your life. Whatever you do is appropriate if you're trying to defend yourself. Bite, kick, scratch, um, even throw up if you can. Anything that you do to survive was the right thing to do. The risks don't stop. The negative elements in society don't stop. So you gotta be vigilant. And you can tell it's working. <laughs>